Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about today is something that the competitor or would-be competitor to Ted Cruz just said around gun control and the desires he's painted for Texas. This is going to, it's going to make you impressed even that he would say this but everything will be linked in the description box below and i can't wait to hear what you guys think and of course make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on and of course as you can see guys i am out of the war wagon we are traveling for christmas but that does not mean this freedom train stops and that's why we are on a different location but the same freedom so with that said let me say a quick word from the vanish giveaway they want to know you want you to know about and then we're going to hit it my brothers and sisters, I am excited to bring you what I think is the biggest giveaway that I've ever seen on this channel, and it's brought to you by Vanish Holsters. Now, Vanish Holsters is made for the everyday American concealed carry patriot, not the upper echelons of the gun world. We're talking somebody who wants to have a gun, have it be comfortably stored, and safely stored to protect themselves and those that they love. This is the most comfortable holster that you're ever going to wear. This is a 48-inch belt that fits universally to anybody, and it's completely ambidextrous. It has a no stink material and it fits up to a 46 inch waist. This is something that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Look at this. They are launching the biggest giveaway I have ever had on this channel. They are giving one of you this incredible Jeep Gladiator and $25,000 worth of gold thanks to Vanish. To enter, all you have to do is click the link in the description and get yourself the most comfortable holster you've ever worn, and Vanish is hooking you up. Get $40 off now when you use my link in the description box. All right, my brothers and sisters, get ready. This is a way to start a Monday right here. Listen to this guy who is trying to unseat Ted Cruz in Texas. Check this out, then we're going to go through it. What, what looks like success to you with respect to, to gun violence in Texas? Well, I think success, Ali, has to start with getting rid of Ted Cruz, who doesn't even want to talk about this issue. Uh, and if people are frustrated, they can go to RolandForTexas.com and look at the solutions that we have going forward. But success could mean having an age limit increase to 21. Most Republicans in the state are in favor of that. Success could be an extreme risk protective orders. And Republicans are coming around on red flags because they know that they don't want a mentally ill person to access weapons. And uh, we should have the power to be able to take those away when they're making threats. And certainly universal background checks. And that said, I don't shirk from the most important thing that we, that we like to talk about, which is an assault weapons ban. Uh, I don't wish anybody to see those pictures and those images but sometimes i wonder what it would it change things if americans saw what happened to those poor babies okay any questions so if you guys had any ideas or reservations about what the democrats were going to hit this election cycle going into 2024 um Gun control is going to be a big one. I'm just telling you. They I got anything else, they're going to hit on it pretty hard. And I cannot wait to continue to counter this throughout the rest of the year because we've got some freedom to spread. And defeating this is going to be pretty straightforward. But this guy's in Texas. Um, obviously doesn't understand his demographics and the state of which he's trying to resist. He's kind of pulling a Beto, but a little bit less like, bruh, but a little bit more refined vibe of uh, Beto. But let's just go through what he just said. Again, running for Senate in Texas. Um, we've got to go against the political hit against Ted Cruz, naturally, but age limit increases to 21 because you aren't an adult when you're 20, when you're 18. No, 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 obviously 18, 19, 20 already been ruled unconstitutional in multiple circuit courts. Um, also you can enter a contract, you can go to war, you can get married, you can enter a mortgage, you can do all sorts of things. But when it comes to guns, that's a second class, right? Oh my goodness. That's exactly what they say in the court decision saying it's unconstitutional. Okay, that's one. Let's continue down. Again, this is still Texas. Um, red flag laws. Apparently Republicans are just, they're coming around to red flag laws because no one wants a mentally unstable person to have guns. So they're just gonna take them away. By the way, side note, I love the idea that the Democrats have just gone by and dropped the idea of no one wants to take your guns. Now it's for safety. Of course we want to take your guns. I mean, th they are just moving towards the edge as fast as they can. But anyway, that's a little squirrel. Um, most Republicans aren't coming around to red flag laws. And I would really like to question how 
any Republicans in the moderate to the actual conservative side would not have an issue with the due process issues brought up by red flag laws, uh, particularly that you don't get to face your day at court, you don't get to face your accuser, you have your rights taken from you, you are guilty until proven innocent later on. It is rife with inconsistencies with our civil liberties. But, you know, who cares about that stuff, right? Let's go on to the next one. Universal background checks. Universal background checks you need, mean you need to have a universal registry. Again, in Texas, that's what this guy is hitting on. Okay. The DNC is going full bore on this. Assault weapons ban, of course, because assault weapons ban are obviously evil. They are obviously the problem, even though they represent less than 1% of any homicide or crime in the United States with a firearm. We're going to need to get rid of that. We can't talk about any of the handguns that are being used illicitly inside cities in gang violence. No, 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 no. That's, that we, that's only 99% of the violence. We can't talk about that. We've got to focus on the big scary rifle. Might have something to do with the fact that universal support for removing handguns is almost at zero. Other than that fact, I can't imagine why they'd want to do that. And the last one, I find this particularly interesting. They want to show the images of children who were victims of mass murder by a psychopath just to get their means of gun control delivered per what they want. Because after all, the ends justify the means. You sometimes have to break a few eggs to get an omelet after all. And if we really want to get gun control, we really have to shock people into giving up their rights. Similar to something we covered earlier this week with the whole kid drowning in a pool thing where they put out an ad around gun control, which was easily refutable and disgusting as well. But then if you talk about what happens in showing the images and showing all the ramifications of abortion, whoa, 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 you can't become come between a woman and her doctor. They are so disingenuous, it's pretty disgusting on the whole level. But if you think that you're going to win in Texas on this platform, even though you're on MSNBC trying to pull a Beto light, yeah, this is going to be a really fun election cycle, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments field and really ride along as we refute gun controllers throughout the entire cycle. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.